Now we know how to factorize a quadratic polynomial by splitting middle term. Correct? Then next we factorizing the cubic polynomial. Okay? The cubic polynomial we have the two sections. The first one. We need to find the first factor of this cubic polynomial by trial and error method. Trial and error method. Okay? The next we, we need to make the given cubic polynomial, the given cubic polynomial by division method, by long division, as a product of a linear and quadratic. Then after, we factorize the quadratic polynomial again by splitting middle term. Clear? Then I think you didn't get actually what is that am I right? So we go directly the works. It's a cubic polynomial. Okay, it's a cubic polynomial. Then we have the three factors. We got it in the case of quadratic polynomial. How many factors? Two factors. We wrote, we make, we convert the quadratic polynomial as a product of two factors. Correct? Here we factorizing a cubic polynomial. So we will get exactly three factors for this polynomial okay so we go directly the question what is that question the question is factorize x cube minus 23 x square plus 142 x minus 120 okay then as usual first we give one name p of x is equal to x cube minus 23 x square plus 142x minus 120. So the next steps, my dear, my dear, is a very lengthy question. We have so many steps there. Okay, then it's an important also factorization of cubic polynomial. Then the next step is we need to find one factor of this polynomial by trial and error method. Means we substitute one by one value and we will get a factor from the from there okay therefore applying the idea of factor theorem what is the idea we know that we know the idea of factor theorem what is that if p of a is equal to zero what is the factor the factor is x minus a x minus a is a factor p of a is equal to zero and we apply the reverse also what is that P of A is equal to 0, then what is the factor? X minus A is a factor. Correct. The same idea we apply here for that, we choosing the values first plus 1. If we get 0, then we stop there. If you didn't get the 0, next we substitute X is equal to minus 1. The next 2, then after minus 2, then 3 minus 3 like that that means we here we is not have any particular value for x we choose in our own assumption we choose some values for x and we check is a zero or not okay factor if we have x value in the value value we will check the value x. For verifying the zero or not, what are most commonly we choosing? We check the value of x. We will choose the value of x. We choose Allah and then we will add the choose here minus 1. Minus 1 is not equal to 0. We substitute minus 1 is we not get the answer is 0. The next we substitute 2. We not get 0, then minus 3, minus 2. Then after 3, then after minus 3, like, like that. Where we get the first, the polynomial value is 0, we stop there. Okay? We go directly, what is that? The first, we find out in the first factor of this polynomial, we choosing the value of x as 1, then we finding the value of p of 1. 
ഓക്കെ ആദ്യം പോളിനോമിന്റെ ഫാക്ടറി കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി ഒരു ഫാക്ടറി കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി ഞാൻ ആദ്യം എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നു എക്സിന് വൺ എന്ന് കൊടുത്തുടിങ് മൈനസ് ട്വന്റി ടു പ്ലസ് വൺ ഫോർട്ടി ടു ഈസ് വൺ ട്വന്റി വൺ ട്വന്റി മൈനസ് വൺ ട്വന്റി ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ അൺഫോർച്ച്ലി വി ഗെറ്റ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇസ് സെൽ ദ വാല്യൂ ഓഫ് പി ഓഫ് വൺ ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ അല്ലെ മക്കളെ നമുക്ക് പി ഓഫ് വൺ എക്സിന് വൺ കൊടുത്തപ്പോ തന്നെ എന്ത് കിട്ടി സീറോ കിട്ടി പിന്നെ മൈനസ് വൺ കൊടുക്കേണ്ട കാര്യമുണ്ടോ ഇല്ല ഇവിടെ സീറോ കിട്ടുന്നില്ലെങ്കിൽ അടുത്ത് നമ്മൾ പി ഓഫ് എന്ത് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കും പി ഓഫ് മൈനസ് വൺ If we get zero, we stop there. Okay, as like this. Clear? If we didn't get the zero, then what is next? We find p of two. Okay. If we get p of two is equal to zero, we stop there. Otherwise, we find the value of p of minus two. As like where we get the first value of p of p value, the polynomial value is zero. We stop there. Here we stop it because we got it. The value of polynomial is equal to zero. If p of a is equal to zero, p of a is equal to zero. What is the factor? X minus a is the factor. Sometimes, if p of minus one is equal to zero, what is the factor? X plus one is the factor. So, we are going to find the answer. P of positive value would come down to zero. What is the factor? X minus a is the factor. X minus one is the factor. Do what? ഇവിടെ വൺ ആയതുകൊണ്ട് എക്സ് മൈനസ് വൺ ഇവിടെ മൈനസ് വൺ കൊടുക്കുമ്പോഴാണ് സീറോ കിട്ടുന്നതെങ്കിൽ നമ്മൾ എങ്ങനെ പറയാം എക്സ് പ്ലസ് വൺ ഇസ് ദ ഫാക്ടർ എക്സ് പ്ലസ് വൺ മൈനസ് വരുമ്പോൾ സിമ്പിൾ പ്ലസ് ആവും പ്ലസ് ആണെങ്കിൽ മൈനസ് ആയിരിക്കും ദൻ ഇസ് റൈറ്റിംഗ് ദർ ഫോർ എക്സ് മൈനസ് വൺ ഇസ് എ ഫാക്ടർ ഓഫ് പി ഓഫ് എക്സ് Okay, x minus one is a factor of p of x. The next step is we are dividing this p of x by x minus one. Okay, that is the next idea. What is that? We are writing. We are dividing p of x by x minus one. Then how? What is the p of x? It's a main step. X cube minus twenty three x square plus one forty two x. Minus 120 long division method divided by x minus 1. Then what is the first term of this polynomial? It's a linear polynomial. What is the first term? The first term of this linear polynomial is x. What is the first term of this cubic polynomial? The first term of this cubic polynomial is x cube. So in all the case of division, we are dividing. We In the case of division, the first step is to arrange the polynomial in the general order. Okay, to arrange the polynomial in the general order. General order means highest power first, then next least second, next least third, next next like that. Okay, at two at two value power or other the power or term add the other one. I'll give one power or other two other. I'll give one other three other. I'll give one other. Angle and angle. It's an order of the descending order of the power okay here the highest power is 3 that is already in the first so there is no need require need to rearrange the polynomial okay then after that the first step is to rearrange then after that we dividing this the highest power highest uh, first term by the first term of this linear term linear polynomial in the first term we get cubic polynomial the first term nammal end cheyum divide we dividing only for the first term okay then x cube divided by x what is x cube divided by x we already learned the last year what is that 
x cube means x into x into x divided by x. Then x and x cancel, what do you get? x square. Correct? Then x square. The next is are very important. x square into x. x square into x. We multiply then add the power. x square into x. x cube. Then x, x square into minus 1. x square into minus 1. Minus x square. That I want to write in the below x square term. Minus x square. Okay. The next steps. Just change the sign. Okay. This one is plus. That is minus. This one is minus. This we read that as plus. Just, just we write. Just for our purpose. Okay. It's not we change the sign. Just our own convenience. We just mark it plus. The next we realize this. x cube minus x cube. What is x cube minus x cube? 0. Then minus 23 x square plus x square. Plus x square means 1 x square. Okay. Minus 23 x square plus 1 x square. What is minus 23 x square plus 1 x square? That one is minus 22 x square. Then below we put down 142 x minus 120. Then what is now the higher first term? The first term is minus 22x square. That is the highest one. Correct. The next step is to divide this first term by the first term x. Minus 22x square. Now we will divide x square. x will divide it. Then what is minus 22x square by x? Then how do we find the answer? Minus 22. Minus 22x square x into x divided by x then we cancel x and x what do you get minus 22x the power of the variable just subtract the power okay 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 that is 22x then multiply minus 22x into x what is that minus 22x square the next Minus 22x into minus 1. Minus 22x into minus 1 is plus 22x. Then again, we changing the sign. This one is plus. This one is minus. Okay. Then, next, how do we read? Minus 22x square plus 22x square. Minus 22x square plus 22x square is zero. 142x minus 22x. What is 142x by uh, 142x minus 22x is 120x. Right. 142x and the 22x minus 120x minus 120. Put down minus 120. Then what is the next term? The next term is 120x. The same power. This First term power is same for 120x power, x power, correct? The both variable powers are same. Then it's possible to divide once again. One can divide the variable in the power in the area. Kuda the area, easily, even at the x in the variable in the power necker, kuda the low, along the equal area. If it's less than uh, the power of divisor, it's not possible to divide. Okay, here the powers are dividend and divisor powers are equal, the case of variable, correct? So, it's possible to divide. Then 120x divided by x, what do you get? 120x divided by x, then x and x cancel, what do you get? 120, what is the sign of 120 is plus 120, correct? 120, then the, again, 120 into x, 120x into minus 1 minus 120 so again this one is minus this one is plus correct 120x minus 120x what do you get 120x minus 120x 0 minus 120 plus 120 what is minus 120 plus 120 that's also 0 then only one zero is enough 0 that means we got it the remainder is 0 correct then the next step is we are writing like this. Therefore, P of x is equal to we are writing like this x minus 1 into x square minus 
22x plus 120. Okay, that means we are writing always like this. If you divide 7 divided by 3, 2, 6, 1. So 7 is equal to how to write 3 into 2 plus 1. 3 into 2 plus 1. Correct? But here we are not adding the remainder like this. Why? Because that one is 0. When the one plus remainder is 0. When the remainder is 0, we can add any number name 0. Okay? So, we are writing P of x is equal to x minus 1 into x square minus 2, 22x plus 120. Then what is next? The next step is we got it there one quadratic polynomial. What is the quadratic polynomial? x square minus 22x plus 120. Next step, we factorize x square minus 22x plus 120 by splitting middle term. Okay, then we choosing that one. What are they? x square minus 22x plus 120. Okay, so for factorizing x square minus 22x plus 120, okay, then what is the value of a? a is equal to, with some main steps, then a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 22, c is equal to 120. So, a c is equal to 1 into 120, what is 1 into 120? e is equal to 120, b is equal to minus 22. So, what are the values? Then I told you <coughs> product is positive, sum is negative. Product is positive and sum is negative, then in that pair both are negative. Correct. Then first we find in what are to multiply we get uh, one uh, product is equal to 120, then first we get 12 and 10. Both are negative. Correct? Both are negative. Then, 6, 2. Negative because product is negative, your product is positive, sum is negative. Correct? So, as like we get the sum or idea, then we check in. What are the sum is equal to minus 22, minus 40 plus minus 3 is not equal to minus 22, that one is minus 43. Then the these two conditions satisfy only one pair. What is that? Minus 12 and minus 10. Minus 12 plus minus 10 is equal to minus 22. And minus 12 into minus 10 is equal to 120. So what is our pair? Minus 12 minus 10. Minus 12 minus 10. The next we printing this one. How to write? X square. How do you split x square minus 12x plus minus 10x plus 120, correct? x square minus 12x plus minus 10x plus 120. The next, what is next is we pair x square minus 12x plus 10x plus 120. What is common? x is common. Then x into x minus 12 plus. What is common here? 10 is common now. Correct? 10 into minus x plus 12. Minus x plus 12. In 120, we take 10 out. Then 10, 120 divided by 10 is equal to 12. Correct? So, now in the bracket we didn't get the common number, the common factor, then what is that? For making the common factors, we convert the plus as minus minus, okay? Then x into x minus 12 plus 10 into minus x minus minus 12. So, now we know that minus is common, then what is next? Therefore, x into x minus 12 into what do you get x minus 12 into 
minus is common we take it out then minus 10 into x minus 12 now x minus 12 is common then x minus 12 is equal x minus 12 we do x plus minus 10 is same as x minus 10 correct now we factorize this one what is the factor of this x minus 12 and x minus 10 correct therefore p of x is equal to how to write first one is x minus 1 what is the first factor x minus 1 into what is the factor of this one the factor of the quadratic polynomial is x minus 12 into x minus 10 okay then now we factorize the cubic polynomial what is the what are the factors of cubic polynomial that one are x minus 1 x minus 12 and x minus 10 okay it's an idea of factorization of cubic polynomial we doing the factorization of cubic polynomial we go to the next question i told you is a lengthy works and we have some confusion in the a case of long division method so be careful and be listen carefully okay then how to be factorize the cubic polynomial first we give one name of that one we give as usual p of x is equal to x cube minus 2x square minus x plus 2 then what is next the next step is we need to find one factor of this polynomial at the step of the if factor e polynomial in the one factor for that we choose one value for x okay then what is the first value most commonly we choosing first p of what what is the value of x x is equal to 1 other number of polynomial x in any value on substitute is no clear 1 okay then we continue p of 1 is equal to 1 cube minus 2 into 1 square minus 1 plus 2 is equal to 1 cube is 1 1 square what is 1 square 1 square is 1 1 into minus 2 that is minus 2 minus 1 plus 2 then 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 is minus 2 My, uh, 1 minus what is 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 is minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0 here also we get the first step the first value of x itself the polynomial is equal to 0 correct if we have x in the value then the polynomial value 0 so we stopping there then we continuing therefore if p of 1 is equal to 0 what is the factor yes the factor is x minus 1 therefore x minus 1 is the factor x minus 1 is the factor of x and what is the next steps the next step is we are dividing the given p of x by x minus 1 we are dividing p of x by x minus 1 then how to write we are writing here x cube minus 2x square minus x plus 2 is a main steps okay not in the working column divided by x minus 1 before the division first we check is in the form of an order a general order standard form first in the cube term yes second is the square term x the next term is x yes then is a constant if any term is missing what we do there we do zero what is missing is x square square term is missing we add 0 x square is x term is missing we add 0 x plus 0 x okay then x what is the next steps to remember to remember what is next we divide the first term of dividend by the first term of divisor and then the step dividend in the other term in a divisor in the other term only divide here okay then x cube divided by x x cube divided by x is equal to what you get is a division just subtract the power 3 minus what is the power of here 1 then 3 minus 1 
2 then the answer is x square x cube divided by x is equal to x square the next multiplication x square into x x cube x square into minus 1 minus x square then what is next we change this one as minus because this is a plus this one is minus then we change as plus this one is plus so we add in here minus this one is minus so we just uh, put in there plus okay then we next x cube x cube minus x cube what is x cube minus x cube is 0 correct then minus 2x square plus x square minus 2x square plus x square is minus 1x square means minus x square minus 2x square plus x square is minus 1x square but we know we not write the 1 in front of the number then minus x square then put down minus x plus 2 then what is next next we dividing minus x square by x what is minus x square by x minus x square by x then is answer is minus because one is negative one is positive so answer is negative so minus x square by x x square by x is 2 minus 1 what is 2 minus 1 1 then x then it is multiplication minus x into x minus x into x minus x square and then over Here, minus x square ने नमड़ x वोंड डिवाड़ ना पुरु negative वो मुरु positive वो डिवाड़ यहुँ answer अंदा नम करिया minus अन्न लेगे नम किंगा किया minus x square with minus x minus x into x by x then we cancel x and x what is remaining minus x is remaining minus x okay that's also correct the next we multiplying minus x into x what is minus x into x minus x square minus x into minus 1 what is minus x into minus 1 is plus x minus x into minus 1 is plus x then subtract this will make it as plus this one is minus so minus x square plus x square minus x square plus x square 0 minus x square plus x square is 0 okay minus x minus x what is minus x minus x minus x minus x is minus 2x plus 2 minus 2x plus 2 the next we are dividing minus 2x by x what is minus 2x by x minus 2x by x then we cancel x and x what is remaining minus 2 then minus 2 then minus 2 into x what is minus 2 into x that is minus 2x minus 2 into minus 1 what is minus 2 into minus 1 is plus 2 then this one is plus this one is minus then minus 2x plus 2x 0 2 minus 2 that's also 0 then remind we got it 0 then we stop there okay then what is next next we are writing therefore p of x is equal to x minus 1 into x square minus x minus 2 okay then what is next at the number right number factorize and made in a x square minus x minus 2 though we take that one separately x square minus x minus 2 is equal to for to factorize x square minus x minus 2 we need to write the value of a what is the value of a what is the coefficient of x square? That one is 1. Then we are writing simply here. A is equal to 1. A is equal to 1. What is the value of b? The value of b is the coefficient of x. Then what is the coefficient of x? Is 1 and minus. Then b is equal to minus 1. Correct? Then what is the value of c? c is equal to minus 2 then we writing ac is equal to 1 into minus 2 is equal to minus 2 b is equal to minus 1 then it's very clear the product is negative sum is negative product is negative means in that group or in that pair 
one is positive and one is negative alle product negative aanu parna group le one negative aanu one positive aanu then the sum is also negative mean which one is uh, negative bigger number is negative alle product negative sum negative aanengil aa group le edayirik negative valiya number aayirik negative so just we finding what is the product of 1 and 2 we get 1 2 only the multiplication what is that 1 into 2 correct 1 into 2 then we which one is negative 2 is negative correct then 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 1 plus minus 2 is minus 1 then what is the number the number is 1 and minus 2 alle right. edu number multiply edala makkale namukku rendu kittullu onnu rendu alle assumption illa onnu rendu vera product undo illa appo adil edana valadu randana varudu alle appo randana varudu kaaranam sum endana negative aanu c is equal to minus 2 alle appo nammal nokki mokkal endana edakka multiply cheyumbodana namukku rendu kittuga otta chance ullu adu edana 1 um 2 aa 1 ilum 2 ilum edana negative 2 aanu negative valudana negative kaaranam da because the sum is also negative clear then we splitting this one how to write first term is say x square then plus 1x means plus x minus 2x minus 2 correct plus plus 1x 1x means x x square Mi minus x and minus 1x and I'm going to split the sum of 1 plus minus 2 1 plus minus 2 means 1x plus minus 2x 1x plus minus 2x okay 1x plus minus 2x x square plus x plus minus 2x minus 2 then we split we grouping the number x square plus x plus minus 2x minus 2 okay then for that x square plus x what is common x square plus x what is common x is common then x into x plus 1 then what is common here? Minus 2 is common, correct? Minus 2. Then minus 2 take out. Then what is the remaining? X minus go to out. Then what is come there? Plus 2 go down. Then what is come? 1. What is there remaining? 1. Then X plus 1 is common now. Then X plus 1 into X plus minus 2. Correct? X plus minus 2 x plus minus 2 is same as x minus 2. So, we stop in here. Therefore, p of x is equal to what is p of x? x minus 1 into we re uh, rearrange this one as x plus 1 into x plus minus 2. Okay? Then how do we write the p of x? p of x is equal to x minus 1 into x plus 1 into x minus 2 okay here we doing one more question that one is factorize 2y cube plus y square minus 2y minus 1 okay then what is the first steps the first step we give one name is a y so p of y is equal to 2y cube plus y square minus 2y minus 1. The next, we need to find the first factor of this polynomial. Okay. So, for that, we substituting first y is equal to 1. We starting from 1. P of 1 is equal to 2 into 1 cube plus 1 square minus 2 into 1 minus 1. Then, 2, 1 cube is 1 into 2, that is 2, plus 1 minus 2 minus 1. Then, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 minus 2, 1, 1 minus 1, 0. Here also, the first step is, uh, first itself we get the polynomial value is equal to 0. Here we get the P of 1 than the written under. Zero greater than upon the other thing like a pond a carilla. Written the length of the substitute in Viker 
minus 1 substitute a. Now, we will stop the stop. We will stop the stop. We will stop the stop. The next. The next. P of 1 is equal to 0. Then what is the factor? Yes. X minus A is the factor. Here is not X. Here is Y. Therefore, Y minus 1 is a factor. Y minus 1 is a factor. Is Y minus 1 is a factor? What is next? We divide the given polynomial by Y minus 1. Okay. The next step is we write it like this. 2 Y cube plus Y square minus 2y minus 1 divided by y minus 1. Then what is first? We check. Is an order? The dividend is an order. First is the highest cube term. X is square term. 1. Then 0. Correct? Okay. Then it is an order in the form of standard. Then we divide the first term of dividend by first term of divisor. That means 2y cube by y. What is 2y cube by y? 2y cube by y is equal to 2y square. Let's begin like this. 2 into y into y into y. That is 2y cube by y. Then we cancel one y. What do you get? 2y square. 2y square. 2y square into y. 2y cube. 2y square into minus 1 minus 2 minus 2y square. Okay. Then next we just changing the sign is minus. This one is plus. Then 2y cube minus 2y cube is 0. Correct. 2y cube minus 2y cube is 0. Then y square plus 2y square. What is y square plus 2y square is 3y square. y square plus 2y square is 3y square minus 2y minus 1. The next we divide the highest term. What is that? 3y square by y. What do you get? Plus 3y. 3y square by y is equal to 3y square divided by y is equal to 3y. Then 3y into y is equal to 3y square. 3y into minus 1 is equal to minus 3y. Then this one is minus. This one is plus. Then 3y square minus 3y square. See you. Minus 2y plus 3y. Minus 2y plus 3y is equal to. Yes. Is. 1y. 1y means y. y minus 1. Then next y divided by y. y divided by y is 1. We know if we divide the same number by one number by the same number the answer is 1. Then y divided by y is 1. 1 into y, y. 1 into minus 1, minus 1. Then is minus. This one is plus. Then we check y minus y. 0. Minus 1 plus 1 that is also 0. Then we stop. What do you get? Therefore, we are writing P of y is equal to minus 1 into 2y square plus 3y plus 1. The next we need to split this one. Correct? The next we need to split this one. What is that? 2y square plus 3y plus 1. So, we choose the values of A, B and C. What is the value of A? A is equal to 2. B is equal to 3. C is equal to 1. So, A, C is equal to 2 into 1 is equal to 2. And B is equal to 3. So, it is very clear the product is 2. The product will happen only in the case of 1 and 2. Correct? Or minus 1 and minus 2. But here the sum is also positive. So both are positive. Right? Namaka AC is equal to 2. Product 2 put on the end in the case. Only 1 into 2 matuna minus 1 into minus 2. But she would have sum positive. I don't know. Random name sign same. I don't know. So 
both the positive 1, 2. So, we splitting 2y square plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 2y square plus 3y is splitting as 1y plus 2y. 1y means y plus 2y plus 1 is equal to next grouping 2y square plus y is 1 group plus 2y plus 1 so what is common in first y is common correct then y in you 2y plus 1 plus there is no common in the second so the same 2y plus 1 so now is common 2y plus 1 2y plus 1 into y plus 1 okay so, we split 2y square plus 3y plus 1 as 2y plus 1 into y plus 1. So, what is next? Therefore, p of y is equal to y minus 1 into 2y plus 1 into y plus 1. Okay. This is an idea of factorization of cubic polynomial. Then what is the factorization, idea of factorization of cubic polynomial? First, we need to find one factor of given polynomial, the given cubic polynomial by trial and other method. That means, first we substitute the value of x or y as 1. We check if we get the value 0. If we get, then we stop. If we didn't get, then we continue. Next, we substitute minus 1. Then where we get the 0, we stop there, okay? Otherwise, we substituting the value like that, like that. Okay, then after, after we get the first factor, we are dividing the cubic polynomial by the given polynomial, the getting factor. Okay. Then next, we divide, we divide always the first term of dividend by the first term of divisor. For a cubic polynomial factor is here under the number of the mother to factor under the number of factor under the number of x in a row value like a substitute in the other one no bodocum zero get on the mocum indicate the number of two illegal minus one bodocum pinna minus two bodocum minus three bodocum and everybody on the zero get another other way on the fourth one day pinna the gender I'm going to number on the mother factor minus positive number of the number of zero but then x minus I think x minus number i think factor minus one for suppose minus one could come around a zero get an angle and then a factor is another x plus one is the factor okay pin of the gia among the thunder you cannot keep it polynomial and number and the gm a factor wonder divide the gm but divide the chamber of the number in the order more kind of and then the general order on a yeah then a term is sent off and then you see you wrote your data term with the chair kind of look i know what you're going to do so, if you divide it, you can divide it. Dividend in the first term, divisor in the first term, divide it. Now, multiply it, multiply it. After we write the P of X in the form of product of factors. That is the factorization. I think you got it. This are the ideas of how to factorize the cubic polynomial. Correct?